Broncos training camp is so close you can almost smell it. Hello, everyone. Welcome inside Auto Nation All Access alongside Jeff Legwald. I am Michael Spencer. The Broncos officially starting training camp on Friday when the full team reports, and then Saturday, the first practice that is open to the public. And, Leggy, usually we're sitting here on the eaves of training camp, if you will, at least the last two years, talking about a quarterback competition. Yeah. No such thing this year down at team headquarters. That being said, though, what do you want to see from Case Keenum as he enters training camp as the starting QB? Michael, I think you want to see what you did in minicamp and OTAs, but times two. You know, ex you want to see the big increase. You saw a guy who's intent on leading a team. You saw a guy who understands what it takes to lead a team. And you saw a quarterback who, frankly, is pretty comfortable in the offense already. But you take all that with a grain of salt because you're essentially in recess in these workouts. You know, nobody's trying to stop anybody, really. Uh, very little contact. So you, you want to see him take all those things and go up another notch and just see him run the offense, be comfortable. When they do two-minute situations, when fans see them in end-of-game situations, goal line situations, that's when you want to see them closing the deal and you want to see Case Keenum really with a comfort level with the people around him. No intrigue at the starting quarterback spot. Obviously, some at the backup spot is Paxton Lynch and Chad Kelly battle for that position. But the position with the most intrigue overall is? I think people should look at the running back position. You know, you've got uh, Devontae Booker will likely enter camp as sort of the number one and get those uh, requisite reps with the, with the first offense. But I would keep an eye on Royce Freeman, the rookie running back. You know, that is a big 230-pound back with 4-5 speed, and those are rare and hard to find. And it, I, I would be stunned if he is not at least – splitting carries at some point with Booker with the starters and even pushing for that for that number one job. We've seen the Broncos move on from veterans. T.J. Ward comes to mind. C.J. Anderson comes to mind. Is there a veteran entering this training camp that could potentially be on the chopping block? You know, I, I would look at a guy like, and, and he hasn't been here very long, but a guy like Menelik Watson. You know, they, they signed you to a free agency deal to be a tackle, and suddenly they're playing you at guard, and they've signed your replacement and, and, or traded for your replacement and Jared Veldier. So, uh, you know, again, Watson hasn't been here a long time, but I think he really has to show something in training camp to avoid getting caught in that shuffle up front. Offensive line seems to be the one issue that maybe won't go away for this team. How concerned are you about the offensive line entering training camp? Well, you'd, you'd like to see them work five guys for a change. I've, I feel like for five years we've been talking about in training camp a rotation uh, or them taking a look at a player or two at certain positions. I think they need to go with five starters and work those five guys as much as possible during training camp. They, uh, Veldir is healthy. They held him out of the offseason work, but as a precaution. Uh, Ron Leary should be ready at some point. Uh, he was held out of the offseason workout. But I think, I think Connor McGovern will have the other guard spot when, the, when it's all said and done. But they need to work those five guys, get comfortable, because pass protection has been a huge issue. Even in Peyton Manning's last season, it was a huge issue, and, and they need to get that straightened out. Or anything else they do with the offense is just going to be a moot point. Defense has been the strong suit of this team for the last several years. How do they continue to get better, if, if that's even possible? Well, I think the rookie Bradley Chubb is really going to have a, a significant impact. And, you know, people should be aware of that and ready to see it. He, he is a ready-made pass rusher, and he will help. Von Miller immensely. Miller's still in the prime of his career. There's no reason to expect he couldn't challenge 20 sacks at some point if he gets the right kind of help across from him in the formation. But very important, Bradley Roby is up to the challenge. They have basically said Bradley Roby is ready to replace Aqib Tlaib. And because of that, that now moves everybody up the depth chart. If Tremaine Brock can't be that third corner, that's going to be a huge question because they're they play three corners on the field 65% of the time or so. Leggy, we know you're living down at Broncos <laughs> headquarters beginning on Friday, maybe even earlier. We'll be out there with you. Looking forward to it. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you.